That jumped up to, ooh, that jumped up to a 38. 38 in melee. Huh. A lot of your other stats went up too. Hey guys, Gunshine Warrior back here with another video. So today, we are going to be taming up some creatures and building our egg farm. So yeah, so for our basic kibble here, we're starting with dodos. So I got one here. I'm trying to take it back to the base. This is also going to be for our collection of creatures as well. So I won't bore you guys too much with it. I'll, sh I'll grab them and I'll show you me taming them up. So, Alrighty, so we're diving into the canyon now, as you can see. Do, 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 do. I really, really need to show you guys what I did to the base here. You're probably already noticing something. So, as you can see, I put on a greenhouse. And, now let me get to knocking out this dodo. Then we'll hop more into that. Let me get this guy tamed up first. Okay, here we go. Alright, since the dodo says has such low health, I'm going to have to just melee. Until he is out and unconscious. So... Stop struggling. The more you resist, the longer it will take. I'm pretty sure one trench guard would have killed him. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. We just brutally beat him to death. Or beat him unconscious. Not to death. He's still alive. Here, have some narco berries. Punch on those. I wonder what will... Uh... Should I really, though? Should I try it on a dodo? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay. About to use a sanguine elixir on a dodo. Three. Two. One. Does that not work on dodos? What? Did I not take it? I still have it. What? What's with you? Uh, consume. There we go. I think it worked now. Maybe. I don't know what. I need to get good kibbles here for the dodos. Yeah, but this dude was the highest uh, health dodo on the map. As you see now, we have, ooh, 41 into weight. Not like we're going to need that. But yeah, we got 44 into health. I don't know why you would ever need that, but really all I'm looking for here in Dodos, I'm guessing I'm just going to go for some stamina and melee now because I got the health. So, yeah. But anyways, let's go look at this base. Let me make sure I have you somewhere where you're not going to get killed. Takes a hot minute to cryopod. Well, I'll take my berries back. Oop, hit the wrong button. Okay, now we're in here. Do, 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 do. do you know, last episode we built up this part. And I did find the lights I was looking for. The multi-lamp. Here. I also put one here. And it actually works really good. It lights up this back part. And this part just enough. Where the torches still look good outside. And then actually the patio here with the lighting, with the torches coming in, looks pretty good as well. Also, we have beavers spawning back in. Oh no, ow, 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 ow. I guess we don't. I'm guessing these guys all ate the beavers. Because I don't see any in there. Let's actually go rob that then. I didn't see any beavers. May as well. Ooh, something's getting eat. Oh, I was, we just pissed off the Dilophosaurus. I heard it. Yeah, no, he's still coming. He's still coming. And boom, bolt. We actually need rare flowers for our, uh, our farm. I'm going to craft up seeds and plant them so that way we constantly have a supply. Because we do have that mod installed. So. We're in the base. But anyways, now time to show you what I've done. So last time we really just had that. 
So what I've done since the end of last episode is I've put in a wall, I've installed these multi-lamps, and I've put some walling up here. I think I have more back here for this. Is that done? Yeah, I got another eight wall here. Where was this supposed to go? I don't know. I think it's supposed to go over here. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to... Yeah. So anyway, as you see, I put in ceiling and a staircase here. Um, and as you can see, we can just walk up and boom. You're up here. This part over here where I'm going to have like a 3 by 5 area here just designated for hatching and uh, storage of all the creatures. I'll have some cryo over here on this side and then this side just designated to hatching and maybe even have some kibble storage up here. And, or like a storage chest with all that stuff I need or fridge or anything like that. But I did build a farm. I did just get done with this right before I had it. Went to go and get that dodo. But yeah, as you come in, uh, we got five crop plots back here that I snuck in by, uh, there's this nice little thing with corner pieces, or was it, yeah, the corner, like, ceilings and foundations. You can kind of glitch them into, uh, ceilings and other foundations, and it won't destroy them. So what you can do is, these, these, uh, crop plots, they'll snap to the ceiling foundation, or the ceiling, uh, the corner ceilings. So what I did is I snapped a bunch of them underneath these uh, ceiling platforms. I snapped five of them. And then I got five of the crop plots to uh, connect to them. So now we got five over here that I have nothing planted in yet. Then back here, I believe we got... That's seven, nine. We got nine, yeah. We got one here, one here. Then we got the big one right here. These ones, I believe, I have to use for... Uh, what are they? The Plant Species X. And these ones, I know, they're not going to hit anything in here. I'm just going to have these ones growing so I can get more seeds from them. For them, I believe. Yeah. And was then, I believe, we got three here in the middle. Another big one. Then we got two over here. So, yeah. So, in total, we got seven of the corner and two big ones. So, yeah, nine crop lots in total over there. So... As you saw here, we do got the dodo. Uh, you know what? You're safe in here. Now we just need to find the next dodo. So plan is, uh, you guys remember how we did it last series where uh, I just bred up the ones I needed. I just got a male and a female. So I'm just going to go look for our perfect females. They're perfect males. Well, I guess they ain't our perfect. They're our breeding ones, the ones we're going to combine to make the perfect ones. So, yeah, let's go find this and make sure we can get it. Uh, here, we'll just hit Shift F8. So what we're going to look for is highest level. level, level. Okay, we already got a male. Let's go for female. Where are you? You are actually close. I'm going for her because she's low, low health, so that means not many points. She's actually right over there. Can I spot her from here? Fuck no, she's actually out on the beach. Where are you at? There you are. Uh, yep, definitely out at the beach. So, I'll get back to you guys here once I'm there. And here we are, we're at the beach. Okay, let's actually check you out. That's actually pretty safe here. What do you got for me in points? Jack Doodly. You guys good now, boy? It's a bad one. Why are you bad? Uh, you're getting eaten by a bat. Come here. You get eaten, but you got stabbed. So do you. Okay, I'm gonna go keep on looking for a good female. Alrighty, guys. I got a female dodo here that I found with 30... 30 dodos. So, one of these episodes, we might just breed up a swarm of attack dodos and go take out some uh, alphas on the map. I don't think they'd be able to stand up to a boss. So, yeah, this is looking out to be a good... A good run. And voila, she just tamed up. Let's get her in the cryopod.
Oh, wait, no, no. Let's see what that actually jumped up to, that melee. That jumped up to... Ooh, that jumped up to a 38. 38 in melee. Huh. A lot of your other stats went up, too. Okay, let's get you in the crowd, bud. Alrighty, um... You had a 30 in stamina, didn't you? Do we want to... Sh let's shoot for a 40 in stamina. Why not? I tried shooting for an 80. I try. Uh, that's close. I, yeah. Let's try shoot. Well. Nah. The melee and health are all we need for dodos. I don't think the stamina will really apply. So. Yeah. We should be good here. Yeah. Alright. So we got our dodos. I will breed them up. Or I will. I'll set them down and let them. I'll set them all down. Here, let me get rid of that. Clear. Uh, all right. Heading home. And the dodos are just thrown in the corner of the workshop. Kind of like the last series as well. Oh my god, this, yeah. Island's going to start turning out to look like the last series really quick. Ah, I'm drowning again. Uh, you know what? I might need to set up a pipe up to the house from the pond. Uh, well, I will, definitely, because I've been thinking here, okay, so, out that door right there, that's going to be the farm, that's going to be the egg farm now, alright, but I've been looking at a lot of design for egg farms, and they're like, entire buildings meant just for one creature to lay eggs in, alright, nothing kind of like what I had in the last series where it was one building and I had a bunch of creatures packed in there. I kind of want to try that because we got a lot of area over here being unused. So, like, I mean, we got we got a night a lot. This is like a lot of nice flat up here that we could use, could use to make individual egg farms for our creature. Ooh, what was that? I heard something. Ah. I feel very vulnerable when I don't have armor on. Uh. I think it's... Oh, it's one of the Hespinornis or whatever the fuck they are. In the water. Whatever the floors they are. Yeah. Get uh, Desdemonis back over here. And I'm gonna go in. Yeah. Uh, well, we got the Dodos now. Let's... Let me... Uh, I think I... What was it? I think I'm gonna go for Raptors, actually. I think that was the good one for these. Was Raptors. What did I tame last year? I feel like I tamed something that was so, so stupid to tame. But we did it anyways, you know? I mean, I may as well try for raptors. Also, seeing how I am thinking about doing that egg farm out there, I might do a kitchen here instead, you know? Just pop out, have a nice maybe... 2x4 kitchen area here. Slanted up to the roof. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I don't know how that would work. Two up then. Yeah, that might work. I'll figure it out here, but I think I know what I want to do here now. I might make a kitchen there where I can cook the kibbles and all that. But also, all I need now for what's it, a grill is 40 oil. So I could make that grill pretty soon. And all it would need is electricity, because we all have we have everything else hooked up to electricity, including the fabricator here, which just, boom, it's on. Boom, I have it turned off. I have it turned off, because I'm pretty sure the more I have them turned on, the more gas it consumes, but I don't know 100% about that. Okay, so I decided on going for Raptors. So we got our, we got our pick for a lottery here. So I have it divided up into health right now. As you can see here, we got a 180 Tech Raptor amongst the fields. Ooh, yeah, you're out there. I don't know, though. Do we want Tech Raptor? Let's go with level. What's the highest level we got? No. Yeah. Oh, let's search. No. Oh, shoot. There we go. 
Yeah, the 180 is going to definitely be the highest level. You're the highest level male on the map. Doesn't really look like the health got like, distributed that well against the Raptors. Pretty close. Um, I don't know. Oh, I might do a dino wipe here because they're kind of all sucky. And I did just do something to the server here where 150s can spawn. So that might also be a problem where there's too many lower levels spawned in and not enough high levels can spawn in. So I might do that. So Alrighty, so <clears throat> we got the Raptor here next. Uh, this did appear to be the only high health one that's spawning. It was the highest health one that was at the highest level. I mean, they don't appear to be spawning over a thousand. So I'm guessing over a thousand is up in the 30s, maybe 31, 32s, something like that. So here's the guy. Let's see. Yep. He had 1,000. He had 1,400. Okay, that looks different than it did on the. Huh. Okay, so, oh, okay, I thought this was the guy I selected. No, but that's the one, that might, guy might have spawned in here recently. Huh, he's close, too. That was nice. Okay, uh, this video is running on long, and this guy might take a hot second to knock out, especially because I forgot the narcotics back at the base. That is not good. Can I pick you? I can't. This is also, ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow. Yeah, this is this is a bad idea. But I got a plan and it might not work. Okay, we're gonna drop you on the far side of the canyon. And dropped. Fly back up to the base as quick as we can. I think I know where the tranks are. Yes. Uh, is he close? He is. Got him. He's tagged. I want to just do this from on top of my house. Alright. Okay, that was only two darts. Woo! I really like this. I might tame up uh, what are they? Some helicopterons, but that's going to be some late game water. We got to get Tuso and Ammonite Bile. And I half fast that so bad. Last time I did it, I legit just tamed up a Megalodon and just blast cannoned it and went for all low levels. But yeah, it's not bad. We got 590 damage with 313 durability. And it's, yeah. It'd probably be pretty expensive to make, though. Yeah, we got him under. I will hold up uh, Shift F8. Let's clear. And then he's out. So let's do, 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 do. Just let him starve up a bit. Where's the bat? There's the bat. Uh, you got prime meat on you? No, I don't think you can get prime meat. I'll figure this out. I'm probably going to skip around through the next couple because I don't want this video to run over 40 minutes. And we're already at the halfway point. So, -na 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 -na, on to the next creature because I got the next female tamed after this because that's what I'm going to skip to. I'll skip to once I have the good female tamed. Alrighty, guys. So, I got the females tamed up. I tamed up two here. So, we got one here that has... Uh, what if we you the one? You're the stamina one. Yep, you got the 38 in stamina. And then you are the melee one. You got 41 in melee. So we're going to try and get the 41 off of you, the 38 off of you, and the 41 off of you when we breed these together and try and make the super. But for now, we got two females and one male for our egg farm. So, yeah. Okay. Resume in three, two, one, go. Alrighty guys, so we do got one more creature here that we got. This is for our next one up. I think this is for the medium egg. Yeah, we got the terror birds. 
Um, let me just quickly do 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 do. Sorry, I have to tab out and uh, pull it up. Yeah, this is for regular kibble. Um, we're gonna go for superior here next. I'm still debating on that. Uh, moss chop. We could do moss chops. Titanova trop. Yo, God, no. I don't know what that is. Tropiogoth or whatever. Yeah. So we got these terra birds right now. They're gonna also be the ones we breed for here. I'll show you their uh, stats here real quick. So this one here, we got 33 in the stamina and 40 in the health. This one we got 47 in the stamina. This is the one for stamina. And 32 into the health. And then this boy, we got... What were you for? Were you for the melee? Yeah, you're for melee. You're our melee at 37. So, yeah. We'll breathe these all together and eventually we'll pop out with a nice... Uh, combo one that has all their good stats and we'll probably try and breed in some of all the lower stats like uh one of you guys had a really low stat where is it you, uh... yeah the 21 and those ones where they're lower we're gonna try and breed those in as well just to keep their levels low and that make sure that they're not getting too many points on them Alrighty, I also have Tropiogoths. They're in cryopods over there. So that's one creature I'm across off the list because I'm gonna use those guys for my superior. And then for excellent, uh Basculus Bronto um Therizino. You know what? I think the next creature we're gonna tame is Theris. So yeah. Then we already got Dinosuchus for special eggs. Um also for when you're making extraordinary kibble. It's either Hesperonis eggs, which are the ones that are available on the island, and then one that you can farm are Eutyrannus and Dinosuchus, I guess. Yeah, well, oh wait, no, you can use what Eutyrannus by farming them, um, having the Uti lay the egg. But Dinosuchus, uh, Magnosaur, Rock Drake, Wyvern, Crystal Wyverns, all those, like the eggs you steal, they're like extraordinary and Golden Hesperonis. But yeah, we're just going to use Dinosuchus here. We got, basically, from that, that would mean we only have to, we only had to tame three creatures, or three different species, because we have the rest. But did we get one for... Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Because we got the raptors for simple, and then we got the terabirds for the medium, and we had the dodos for the small... So, I already had one for large and uh, extraordinary. So, we just need the exceptional. And it looks like we're going to get Therizinos for that. So, yeah. Okay, guys. I'm back. Got the Therizinos. This was a pain to get. But they're real good ones. They're nice. Nice, nice, nice. Mmm, -mm, piss off. So, uh, let's go throw you guys out over here. So we got this one. This one, I believe, is our stamina boy. Yeah, stamina and melee. It's got a 46 melee and a 42 uh, stamina. Then we got this guy. I think I might attain one more than I need. This is a 47 stamina. I... Yeah, that's the one. I might go with you for stamina because that's a lot of points. Stia. Uh, number eight. What do we got here for this one? Okay, yeah, yeah, we should be good with these stats. We might even be able to use these guys for the dragon and the monkey, the Therizinos. Just getting them mutated up, but yeah. So we got all the creatures we need. Um, Here, I'll sh let me go get the other ones from the cryopods. Ooh, uh, boom, you know, pop out. Alrighty, I just grabbed my guys. I think my Tropio Goths here actually got some, like, event colors on them. They're bright. Here, let's fly over here. I'll throw them out. I'm starving again. And we'll see what we got. We're also starting to get a lot of creatures here thanks to this episode. Too bad they're all going to be shoved in boxes and we're going to have eggs laid on our heads constantly because of them. 
Okay, let's go with um Mora. Let's just go over here with that. Because we already got the fairies thrown out on this side. We'll go Womp. Five. Here we go. Do, do, do. 47. Ooh, you're actually really good in the... Yeah, he's good for health and good for melee. Oh, that's awesome. I love this. I've not done much with the trophy guts. When I was trying to do the Bola thing and like all that with the tractors. Oh no! Yeah, I didn't understand the chain Bola and the Ballista really. I don't understand why they just couldn't be like a knockout team or anything like that, but they are good. I haven't flown one of these guys yet. I know that one of their jetpack. What is it? They have like jets, jetpack saddles. Ooh, no, no, I didn't want that. Oh! In the box. Okay. Land somewhere. Just land. Thank you. Actually, that's not bad. Fuck it, I'll have ET right there. So we got our Tropiograths. Um. I gotta say, oh, these guys are babies. I gotta. I gotta raise these guys here, so I'm gonna pop them out inside. They are quite small. I need to go get meat immediately. Andy, do you got meat on you? Split that. Okay, welcome baby male, or baby female. I think, yeah, you're the one that we have a twin of on the island. Let's see what your stats were. What, what was so good about you? Uh, you guys are actually pretty shit. I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty shit. Compared to these guys, like their stats are all off. That's the hard thing about when you're hatching them. It's all random. But anyways, what do you guys got in your time? Is your maturing? I do not imprint on guys at all. Like, I don't even fuck the stats. Here we go. Uh, one thing I haven't looked at yet. Where are you? Where did I park you? Side. Where did my back go? There you go. What, what were yours? You just have a lot into your uh, health. You have the 41. You have 39 natural weight. And I already put two more in. Okay. Anyways. I'm going to let these guys grow up. And I got one more creature. And it's a modded one that I need to go tame up. But I need eggs to do them. Alright guys. We got the Confucius Soreness. Uh, I forgot to record the first time I did this, but I hear they are, they are awesome for, uh, doing, like, egg gathering and hatching and all that, but we have other ways of hatching and printing. So the reason we have Confucius Ordnance here is so that way they can just grab the eggs and collect them for us. We don't have to worry about that. Ooh, Dinosuchus with an imprint. Uh, we ain't gonna do it because you are a basic. Yeah. Anyways, um... I think that's going to be it for this episode, to be honest. We got all the stuff we need. Next episode, I guess, we're going to be building up the the pens for them. And, yeah, we're going to definitely be bringing all these guys together. And I'm going to be working on a cryo uh, fridge here. Let's see how much it is. Cryo. Yeah, I just need some electrical and polymer. That ain't hard. Should be able to get this pretty easy. But yeah. Anyways, you, you guys know the drill. It's been Gunshine Mori, recording videos, and if you like them, please leave a like and subscribe. And anyways, Gunshine Mori, signing off.